Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video. Thank you all the members, all the patrons, make sure to subscribe. We are trying to hit 50k. Let's get going guys. So, yeah, we are playing out the Mirage F1. Why do you ask? Yes, it got buffed. Really buffed. Uh, you can feel the difference, uh, but only in the performance. On the side of things of actually the rudder or the elevator, there were some, cha some changes to that as well. But overall, the main thing is that it is faster now. It has more max speed. Uh, I don't think it's actually accelerating more, but it just has more max speed. Uh, and also, it does turn like 1 point something G more and less 0 0.8 G less, like in the negative kind of side of things. So you will feel that the aircraft is a lot, it feels a lot lighter and it's just way better. But you are not out of the woods yet. It is not an aircraft that is a top dog in any form. It is still 11.3, which is, by the way, the same BR as the Mirage 2000. So think about that for a couple of minutes, that this aircraft is the same BR as the Mirage 2000 for some odd reason. Um, and I think he has a very bad problems with the missiles and the radar. Uh, the Super 530F just cannot see one chef and it just goes for it. It still does that. So, yeah, you basically have no BVR capability. Only if the target doesn't realize that you're there firing a missile on it. But if it clicks one chef, it's, it's done. You have the two magics and you have the cannon and you can use this 530E, but it's still problematic so this will still be the main problem of the aircraft but at least on the performance side of things it is a little bit a little bit better i still think that it should be like an 11.0 aircraft uh, but i mean if it gets a down tier you will probably destroy everything in that 10.0 br because a lot of these aircraft at 10.0 don't have chef and don't have flares so a magic 2 and a super 530 Without the chef and flares, uh, they're very dangerous. It's uh, uh, basically a confirmed kill that you get you get there. Uh, but yeah, you can still use it as you see, uh, for example, in this kind of situation. But as I said, it is a problem of the target needs to not know that you are firing uh, on him. If he does, it's GG. You're going to lose the missile. And the magics are good but they also tend to just have problems as well so i don't know it's just yeah <laughs> but it is a lot more fun than it was so if you have the mirage f1 and if you like the mirage f1 i don't i don't think i ever knew somebody that actually liked the mirage f1 but still if you do like it try it out see for yourself and just have a feeling on the flight model because that's the main change um, as you saw on this clip you can barely even but you can dog fights if uh, dog fight even some fourth generation aircraft uh, if the target actually knows that you are there and actually tries to focus on you in a 1v1 basically every single aircraft will still beat you but at least you have a chance in these more kind of normal battles kind of situations that sometimes the the target is just flying a little bit I don't know uh, try to just have a situational awareness but not being able to because there are so many targets so you can jump people a lot especially with the new max speed it is like a 1,457, if I'm not mistaken. So it is very much a, a strong and fast aircraft. So it is pretty good. But it has its problems as well. As I said, be careful with that. And by the way, uh, take a look on this match. It was a 16 v 16. They are actually making 32 player matches in top tier. I don't know about the other tiers, but at least in top tier with these bigger maps and it's so much fun a lot more play i'm not a lot more pay players but it's like four more players and also the bigger maps it is just i mean it's so fun man 
I hope, I really do hope that Gaijin doesn't remove these maps. I know a lot of people are complaining about it and stuff and you have to have a little bit more patient, patience, but it is just, oh my god, it's so much fun. As you see over here, I could have just shot a missile there, but it just doesn't have the range. Uh, and the target doesn't know that it, I'm here, so this would be the optimal condition on that. The contrails do help a lot on identifying targets flying high like that. And if the target doesn't uh, like uh, pay attention for their RWR, he's going to get destroyed. Was trying to get a lock with the 530E over here, but then a uh, radar missile from the EJ there just got him. The EJ Kai, right? So, yeah, very cool. Um, and another thing, a minor thing that you need to consider is that this match at the end I will run out of fuel but still try to use 20 minutes don't try to use more than that just because it, it kind of becomes a little bit of a struggle bus at 30 minutes of fuel or more and the engine is kind of efficient if you don't use the afterburner at all times it is going to save a lot of fuel and then you just don't have you don't need to like do anything about it you just fly it and it's it's fun and it's just lighter right it turns a lot more rolls a little bit more and it's just a lot better but yeah here we got into kind of a four bow i'm trying to kill some of the targets over here yeah so i am fighting a lot of fourth gens as you see got the the, the vegan there with the magic too try to go for a head-on with the f16 and then another f16 appeared uh on my six here i kind of was too you know slow to the aircraft that actually work a little bit better but and i don't know what that was but yeah um as you see you can do uh, you can like use some techniques to actually help you win against some of these aircraft and uh the the f-16 having its fly-by-wire system limiting basically every turn that you do uh, yeah, it, it kind of it's a little bit easier to just get these skills, right? So he was dead, lost tail control there, and just overall a very capable aircraft. I don't know, it's just different. And of course, we have three of them: we have the CT, the C200, and we have the normal C. So if you have the C200 even, which is the premium one, um, try it out. I mean, it really did make a difference it really did um and be careful as well with another minor thing the weight of the missiles kind of weight this aircraft a lot down you know so uh, maybe if you are doing some dog fights just eject the the super 530s because i feel like the aircraft just turns a lot more when you don't have the super 530s under under the wings it's a very heavy missile so yeah but yeah, uh, the last two guys were a vegan and an F4S, and I just decided to go after them. And then I tried to fire a Super 530 to see if it would turn. Uh, this missile was kind of useless anyway, so I just decided to uh, try to make them lose energy. I should have just went for the vegan and tried to go for the F4 uh, later, and I was kind of running out of fuel there. So it was kind of my, my greediness that got me killed at the end. But yeah, I should have just waited for the vegan and get uh, the F4 after that. But I tried to go for the F4. Uh, the, the crew is not uh, experted um, or just in an expert manner. Um, so yeah, I'm losing, almost losing control of the aircraft every single time. Just completely missed that. Was, I mean... I had to pay attention for three things, missiles, fuel, four things actually, missiles from the airfield, the vegan, the fuel, the ammo, everything. Uh, it was problematic, ensuring the F4, right? So, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was kind of not the greatest thing ever. Then I tried to just turn with the vegan to actually see if it would work, but the vegan just turns too much for these aircraft. It's not nothing that I could do. Then I just tried to run away and I ended up without fuel, so yeah, that was the end of that. But anyway, 
Let me know in the comments what you think about the Mirage F1. It is a lot better than it was before, but still, it is not out of the woods. As I said, it still struggles. So, yeah, make sure to subscribe. And I see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys. See you.